Good morning, my name is Heidi Wolf and I am St. Louis Nurses in Advanced Practice Symposium Chair. I am also a nurse practitioner for Total Access Urgent Care and I have taken care of hundreds, probably thousands of COVID patients um, since the pandemic has started. Today's topic is prevention of COVID-19. We do need your help, but I do also wanna wish you guys a very happy Nurse Practitioner Week. As of 11 9 2020 we have 225,145 cases of COVID in Missouri with 3,502 deaths. Our current seven day average is 3,791 cases per day. When there's a community transmission of COVID, residents are encouraged to practice social distancing um, by avoiding crowds and maintaining a six foot distance from others in public. Individuals should avoid contact with other individuals who are ill and wear masks whenever you are in public places. Diligent hand washing is encouraged, especially after touching surfaces in public. Um, hand sanitizer with a greater than 60% um, alcohol is a reasonable alternative if the skin is not visibly soiled. One study showed that the virus remained viable on the skin for up to nine hours, um, but was inactivated within 15 seconds of exposure to 80% alcohol. Um, we always please ask you to cover a cough or a sneeze by using the elbow if you are a mask. Um, avoid touching your face, primarily your eyes, nose, and mouth. Clean and disinfect surfaces most frequently touched and ensure adequate ventilation of indoor spaces. The WHO and CDC both encourage mask wearing for all individuals in public um, once there is a widespread transmission. The WHO recommends most individuals um, wear non-medical mask, although those greater than 60 years old and those who have tested positive for COVID do need to wear those medical masks. Um, the CDC guidelines um, did not mention the medical versus non-medical masks um, in the U.S. when recommendation, it, there was a shortage when the recommendation was last updated. Uh, masks should not have an exhalation valve and cloth masks should have several layers. Um, when wearing a mask, be sure not to touch the face after handling the mask and use hand hygiene and be sure to um, launder the mask frequently. A mask does not diminish the importance of social distancing or hand hygiene. Uh, masks have not been associated with impairment of gas exchange, including among those with underlying lung disease. Yesterday, we set a new daily record for hospital admissions, hospitalizations, and seven-day rolling averages. Please wear a mask. Do not gather in large crowds. Stay at home as much as possible, and please reconsider gathering with friends and family. Our hospitals are overwhelmed, and our healthcare workers are really exhausted. We need your help, and we thank you for that. And last but not least, proper use of a mask is over the nose, loops around the ears, and covering the mouth, just to make sure that all the important areas of where the, the virus can get into your body are covered and safe. I hope you guys have a great Nurse Practitioner Week, and I will talk to you soon.